All right, Ross. Matthew McConaughey giving a graduation speech to kindergartners. All right, all right, all right. Now, now you might be, be thinking to yourself, I'm only six, right? Six is just the same as 60. Time is all, it's all over the place. It's not linear, right? So you, you remember that right now, right here, right around the time that I'm talking right now, which is also in the future and also in the past. All right. John C. Riley as the pitch man for a Viagra commercial. Uh, guys, if you want to please your ladies, and I know you do, <laughs> the only way to get, get there is you got to take that blue pill. It's for your health, for your sexual health. Christopher Walken explaining the birds and the bees to kids. Kids, it's crazy out there. There's birds and there's bees. Every so often, they get together. And when that happens, my God, it's magic. Brad Pitt upset that he is not the sexiest man mm. alive. Yeah, I figured, you know, at some point it would end, yeah. I mean, like, that's, you can't win every year. I'm, I get that. I mean, I, I feel like I should just be sexiest man ever. Jack Nicholson trying to cut the line at a carnival to get cotton candy. I've been waiting a long time. You're uh, dancing around here. I need to get my cotton candy fix. So uh, let, let, let me uh, in here and let me have a little bit of this delicious, uh, fluffy goodness. <laughs> George Clooney debate whether or not he should use just for men um, you know there's a ongoing debate about ageism in Hollywood and uh, I, I really feel like you know it's I, I'm trying to be a, a model for other men and not uh, buy into the whole notion that you have to to always look young Liam Neeson looking for his car keys uh, I don't know where you are I don't know where you're going but I have the ability a certain set of skills and I will find you Al Pacino complaining that his pizza did not come in 30 minutes or less. You are 35 minutes late. You are 30 minutes or less. If, if I don't get it in time, it's free. Am I wrong? That's a free pizza. Goodbye, sir. Wah. This is Sylvester Stallone convincing producers he should be in the next Magic Mike movie. I mean, listen, I'm the original Italian style. I mean, the reason why I'm named that, you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm ripped. I'm, what am I, 72? I'm still ripped. Are you kidding me? I should be out there. Now, this really happened. I interviewed Harrison Ford. I asked him who wins in a fight between Han Solo and Indiana Jones. This is what he said. I'll give you my favorite answer. I don't care. So now I'm going to re-ask the question, Harrison. Who wins in a fight between Han Solo and Indiana Jones? I'll be honest. I hate that question. I don't know where you come up. Do you come up with these questions? I've been acting for over 30 years. Can you come up with something a little more original? Get off of my stage. <laughs> and finally, James Gandolfini telling people to watch The Walking Dead with Ross Marquand. What's the matter with you? If you don't watch it, you're making a big mistake. And I'm going to come over to your house and break your legs. No, I'm kidding. I'm not going to do that. Well, you should watch it. Walking Dead, season eight. With me, Ross Marquand.